morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. So, I start the episode leveling up my uh, endurance. I then head on out to Yargle's Unseen Village. The reason I'm doing VO is because halfway through recording, I lose uh, power. And so, my audio gets all screwed up. So, I'm going to do some VO for the first bit of the video, and then we'll see how I edit the second half. Uh, I start off going to Yargle's Unseen Village, I go down and I grab that item, I then go and fight to the left, where there's a bunch of enemies in these stairs, I defeat them all, with a, a little bit of trouble, but some ease, um, I then decide, let's go to the right, and see what's over on the right, uh, there's some enemies to kill, and then this item, and then I turn around and, uh, check and see that there is an elevator, so obviously I can't take it, I go back, I go to the left path, and all the enemies I killed were revived, it seems, or are back, and I don't know how they came back. So that marks our first death of the day. This is gonna be a high death day. I then uh, make my way back towards the left, I clear all the enemies, I make my way all the way down, and I find this woman with a bell. I go ahead and kill her, and the enemies stop respawning. I grab this bolt damage increaser and then go down uh, another path and into a hole in the wall where this woman rings a bell. She summons an enemy behind me that you'll see right now. Uh, I take him out no problem and she also summoned a brute that uh, I end up having a bit of a hard time and I get stuck on a candelabra and I die again. I then make my way through. I kill the brute. I get my blood echoes. And there's an item in this area. It was a air room. I then make my way through a door. I kill the uh, this gun guy that she summons. I kill her. And then there is a door behind her that I can open that I can now avoid having to go fight that brute. It's just literally right next to the hole that I went through. There's a brute. I find these cold bloods. And I go down the next path, which is stairs to the left, and then stairs down forward. I go down forward, I fight these four witches, or five witches actually, this one sneaks up on me. I then decide to go back to the left path and explore there, which happens to have this bloodstone chunk. I fight a bunch of enemies here, that, uh, and I'm hearing some ringing while I'm doing this. I get attacked by an amygdala fight some more enemies they end up basically pushing me all the way back to the beginning where i get overwhelmed by the four witches that i previously killed as well as all of the enemies that i were already on and they take me out and then it's just kind of a bunch of quick deaths from there i take another death going back down the stairs as you'll see right here and then i head down towards the uh, previous path forward where the four witches were, I fight them, take care of them, and go down into a room that has a uh, treasure chest and a brute. I fight the brute, and I start hearing some bell chiming. Uh, there's also a Gatling gun guy, so I dodge my way out of the Gatling guy and two brutes. Gatling gun guy almost kills me. I eventually kill him, and then the brute gets me. I then decide that it would be a good idea to go do the Gascone Trail, and that's when my power goes out, and we're going to kick back into uh, live recording. Alright, after that death, I uh, went and ran and got some more blood vials, then as I was getting back here, I had a power outage in my house, and uh, I lost power, so, if this is the beginning of the episode, welcome, good morning. If it's not the beginning of the episode, then I'll probably just cut some of this out. Um, but we gotta get through this area. This place is fuck, fuck you, god fucking damn it! How is it that I can do that no problem any other time? Jesus Christ, I hate it. I hate this. I keep this is my. I keep losing so many fucking blood echoes in this fucking game, and I can't level up. But anyway, good morning, if, if, if I wasn't able to recover or do some sort of recovery with the video. I believe I have a backup saved. Uh, otherwise, 
Um, I hopefully, I, I believe there's like three or four deaths. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you. This is absolutely, absolutely obnoxious. Absolutely obnoxious. Having a, the fact that it's just never giving me blood echoes or blood vials is what's really frustrating the hell out of me with this game. If I could change anything about this game, it would be that if you go, fuck you! I wasn't in that. What the hell is this? Oh my god. As I was saying, fucking hell, I hate this game today. I am just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing so bad. If I could change anything in this game, it would be that I didn't have to go to the hunter's dream. It would be that between, that anytime I touch the, uh, the lantern, it would just bring, I, I could just choose where I want to go. Instead of having to go to the Hunter's Dream. Because that's, that's, that's one of the more frustrating parts about this game. Is having to go back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why are guns so strong with these guys? I am just, I am so frustrated. So frustrated. The power outage and everything else has just gotten me so grumpy. But yeah, any time I have to go back to the Hunter's Dream to go to gather some blood vials, it's just, it's, it's not long, but, like, this was a big problem with the game when it first came out, where, was, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Load times. And load times, even on the PS5, they're not that short. Alright, I need to figure out where this bell lady is. I don't know where she is here. When I went up there, I heard her, but I didn't see her anywhere. And and they just kept coming at me down over here. I think she's underneath. I think she's in the cage. Where I think she is. There's the other big guy. There's two big guys in here. Killed it. Oh, you fucking asshole. No, back up. Back up. I hate that shit. I killed them. Fucking eight goddamn shots to kill him. Okay, let's do this again. I did some reading. Let's just, let's just 
Let's just fucking run. I'm fucking tired of this. I'm tired of this. Let's just run. I'm tired of this fucking staircase. I'm tired of that staircase. I just don't want to have to deal with that staircase anymore. There should be a way to counter that friggin' bell chime. Fuck you! Cathedral key? Is that the key at Cathedral Ward? Is that what that's for? God, I hate this shit. Fuck you. Oh my god. Alright. That's what I'm telling you. Like, I don't have any healing items. I, uh, the game doesn't give me healing items. I, and, and it's getting frustrating because I don't I don't want to have to load back up. But also, this is why I don't want to skip enemies because maybe maybe it will give me healing items. See, there's some healing items. That's probably gonna be bullets. Because for some reason, ladies with with wind chimes, with bells, have bullets. Fuck you. Come on. Get out of... Like... I hate... I hate this shit. I hate these enemies so much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run.
just, I'm tired. I'm tired of this area. I'm tired of these stairs. I'm tired of refighting all these same fucking enemies over and over and over again. I'm tired of dealing with this laser. I think I vaguely remember this place on my first playthrough and strongly remember not having fun or liking it. Eight blood vials! Yay! Thank you for giving me healing items that are probably gonna go to waste. Is this the goal? How many shots does it take to knock one of those guys out? Jesus. I know it's not the number, it's hitting it on time. some fire paper went back to the dream got some fire paper and and uh, uh what's it called healing items of course that finally works 
And you give me healing items? What is going on here? Forgot to check and see what the new rune does. So grab those two bullets from Bell Lady. So don't get hit with the lightning attack. Because that is an instant kill. Get back, get back. I think that's going to be it for today. I can't, I'm not, I'm just not interested in going back, getting more items to come back and die again. I'm going to take a break from this. Uh, guys, I appreciate you all for hanging out. If you like what you saw, hit that like button so the algorithm knows that people like you will like me too. Subscribe to the channel so you get updates and notifications when I go live and post new videos. And uh, leave a comment down below. Hints, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. Chalice, dungeon, seeds, you know, anything like that. Uh, I respond to all comments back. Uh, please do me a huge favor, be careful, be safe, don't do anything I would do, always have your moments. Of course, like always, be sure to mismatch stops. See you all.